Alright, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this reading here is for my Aries Zodiac sign. This is your love and relationship reading for the month of November. Before I dive into it, let me just say this is a general reading, so this may not resonate with you. If it does, everything may not be for you in this reading. It could be messages for someone else, so take what does and leave the rest. Energies are fluid and interchangeable, so energies can cross, and if you need to, please flip the energies that best resonate with you. So let's go ahead and get your overall energy, Aries. What is the overall energy for my Aries zodiac sign for the month of November 2020? Thank you. Can I have two more, please? Overall energy for Aries zodiac sign for the month of November 2020. Thank you. All right. One more, please. Overall energy for Aries zodiac sign for the month of November 2020, please. Thank you. All right. So we have worth waiting for, soulmate, and romantic feelings. Okay. So guys, if you need to, feel free to skip forward. I'm going to lay out the entire spread before I begin. Uh, clarify worth waiting for for Aries, November 2020. Cancer almost came out, so uh, we may be dealing with the cancer. Clarify Aries, November 2020. Clarify worth waiting for, please. Thank you. So just so you know, <laughs> I almost said cancer. So uh, Aries, you could be in a, whatever this is, this could be in, um, involving an, uh, a cancer zodiac sign. Clarify worth waiting for for November 2020 for Aries, please. One more, please. Clarify worth waiting for for Aries. Thank you. All right, clarify uh, soulmate for Aries for November 2020. Clarify soulmate. Thank you. Clarify soulmate for Aries. Thank you. One more, please. Clarify soulmate for Aries. Thank you. Okay. Can we clarify romantic feelings for Aries? November 2020, please. Thank you. Can I have one more? Can you clarify romantic feelings for Aries? Thank you. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Give me one moment. Let me pull the energies here. Okay. okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's go. Let's go ahead and start. So the first card we have on the bottom of the deck, your overall energy, it's judgment, all right? This could be a decision being made, okay? Karma coming back, karmic cycles, all right? This could be, um, judgment could also be like a lawsuit happening, something legal as well. Um, but we'll see here. Let's see, let's see. So the first card we have is worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. To clarify that, we have the Tower, Two of Swords, and Four of Pentacles. So there was a moment in time the Tower happened, okay? Things started to fall apart. This could be happening now in the month of November. Things are falling apart. Things are crumbling. You don't know how to feel. You don't know what to do. You don't. You feel like you need to protect yourself. You feel like you need to keep your feelings and emotions to yourself. All right. Again, Four of Pentacles. You feel like you need to keep everything to your chest, including money, including your feelings, your emotions. Okay, including um, your desires, whatever it is. Like you feel like you need to keep everything to yourself because everything is crashing and burning. For you right now but what you have to remember is that things happen for a reason okay and if you're if you're looking for a relationship and you feel like your relationships are falling apart and not going anywhere it happens for a reason because it's worth waiting you're worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life that is why you haven't found anybody that's why anything that you feel like you have is falling apart all right because it's not the right person you're going through your 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 lessons that you have to learn first, okay? So that you can grow. So that you can meet the person you're supposed to meet. Now, if this isn't you going through it in November, this is you've already been through it. And then in November, you will beginning to meet someone. So we do have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. This is why you're going through this tower moment. This is why you're going through this. And why divine timing is here. Because you're about to meet your soulmate, Aries. So we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Devil, and the Seven of Pentacles. All right. So the Nine of Pentacles is, is 
your singles card, okay? The Nine of Pentacles is that singles energy where you're everything that people want when they see you. You're beautiful. You're gorgeous. You have your finances together. You have your head on straight. You have a financial stability as far as home, car, you know, all of that good stuff, okay? You may be obsessing, okay? Or someone could be obsessing over you. Or you could be obsessing over money, over like your financial well-being as well. Or you could have like a spending problem. That could be one of the things as well, Aries, which is okay. Um, or you could be like obsessing on saving your money, okay? Um, because we do have the Seven of Pentacles. And this is kind of you um, watching your, your, your things grow, watching... Um, watching your your money grow watching your bank grow so you may be obsessed with work okay very into work and things like that um and that could be where you're going to meet the person because you work all the time you you know you're focused on your money your income your your groundedness is what you're focused on so i don't think it's a bad thing it's just you you do throw yourself into it a lot so when this i feel like when the soulmate comes in you may not recognize them Okay, or for quite some time because you're so thrown into your money, your financial being and things like that. So we do have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So with this we have, to clarify, three of wands, the hanged one, and the two of cups. Okay, so three of wands is telling me you're wanting something more. You're wanting something. You're looking out for something, all right? You know that there's more out there and you know that you deserve more. And if you don't feel like there's there's no soulmates or you don't believe in soulmate connections or anything like that anymore, this is what's holding this person back from meeting you because you're kind of guarded and you're cut off. And so you're not allowing this person to come in. That could be why you're throwing yourself into working, throwing yourself into growing your money and things like that because you don't want to think about these things. You don't want to get involved and be vulnerable as far as emotionally. But... Once you begin to look at it from a different angle with the hang one here, okay, it could be like um, a friend or something like that. But once you start to look at it from a different angle, you're going to realize that you do have a connection with someone and that you're destined to meet your soulmate. So just be aware, okay, you may even have three different people come into your life that you get to look at, okay, that you get, get to look forward to. Or it could be three months that you're going to be enjoying yourself, kind of looking out and things like that. You may meet your person in January. Let's see. Let's pull the energy. What is the energy of, this, of the people surrounding Aries? What is the energy of the person surrounding Aries? Or what is the energy surrounding Aries? Let me say that. Thank you. What is the energy of the surrounding Aries? What is the energy surrounding Aries, please? Thank you. What is the energy surrounding Aries? Yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. Six of Swords movement. You're moving forward, okay? You may be traveling. So you could be doing extra work because you're trying to travel somewhere, okay? But this is why you haven't met anyone yet. Or this is why you haven't accepted love into your life yet. Because we have the Queen of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles. So this is you. I feel like you're trying to work to keep from getting here. Queen of, Queen of Wands is a very busy energy. Queen of Wands is someone who's uh, entrepreneurial, okay? Someone who's very dedicated. When they have a passion into something or when they have a passion about something, they really dive into it. And I feel like that's what you're doing. And then with the Eight of Pentacles here, this is you, again, working on your money, Focusing on your money, building up your money. And then the five of pentacles is saying that, you know, you want to come out of the code. You're trying to get yourself out of this poverty, out of this hardship, out of this financial burden here. So that could be why you're not really meeting someone yet for the month of November. I don't really see you um, meeting So I mean, you could meet them in the month of November, okay? You're just right now, I'm feeling like you're very focused. Very focused, very driven on your work. You're, it's kind of obsessive, okay? Kind of obsessive, which is okay. You're trying to make something happen. I feel like you're trying to build something here. You could be building your own business, working on your own business or something like that. But just know whenever you start to look at things differently, okay, and not so negatively, maybe, you know, saying instead of saying everything, 
every time I get with someone, it ends up crashing and burning, yada, yada, yada. You know, maybe if you used a positive phrase and said, okay, you know what? Maybe right now just isn't the time. I will meet the person when, it, when I'm supposed to. Until then, I'm just not going to date, okay? Or something like that. But I feel like they're, they're definitely going to come in in due time. But I do feel like the overall energy that I'm getting from this reading for November is that you're really focused on your work, your money, your craft. Let's see. Any advice or clarity that you have for Aries? Thank you. Any advice or clarity that you have for Aries? Thank you. Yeah. We have refusing to see. So, yeah, this could be you. Again, you're... You're thinking to yourself like, oh, no, if, if I get into a relationship, it's going to crash and burn, yada, 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 yada. It's been the same. It's always been the same. It's always been like that. So I feel like you're refusing to see that you do have an opportunity to find love, that it's going to come in due time. And then we also have seek the truth. You want love. I feel like you're telling yourself you don't want love, you don't want a relationship, yada, yada, yada. But if your true love comes to you, your twin flame, your soulmate comes to you, you're going to want to be with them. I think you're just lying to yourself like, I don't want to say lying to yourself. You're just telling yourself that, no, I don't want love. I'm not worried about love. I'm not worried about a relationship. I'm just worried about my money, which you are. You are. You're worried about that. But I feel like you do need to confess to yourself, okay, it would be nice for me to meet the person I'm supposed to be with. It would be nice for me to meet my soulmate when the time is right. Let's see. Any last messages for Aries? Thank you. Any last messages for Aries? Thank you. Any last messages for Aries that you have? Thank you. Any last messages, thank you, for Aries? Okay, so you have a couple. Fall in love when you're ready, not when you're lonely. I don't think you're lonely at all. Again, you're very busy. You've dived into work. That's what you're focused on, which is completely fine. I understand that 100%. But also, you know, let yourself know, like, you don't have to tell yourself, oh, I'm never going to fall in love. I'm never going to find a relationship. Because everything keeps crashing and burning. Because you will in divine timing. I have found the one that my soul loves. Okay? I do feel like you're going to meet that person. Love yourself as much as you want your soulmate to love you. Adventure awaits. Go find it. And you want a person who comes into your life by accident but stays on purpose. That's what I feel like you're doing. You're saying, I'm going to focus on my money right now. I'm going to focus on what I need to right now. But if my soulmate comes into my life, hey, it is what it is. We're going to be in love. But I just don't, I don't see you, I don't see you taking any extra steps by saying, oh, I'm just going to go out there. I'm going to go out there and look. I'm going to go out there and search. I think you're just allowing it to happen when it happens. But you also need to make sure you're being positive about it. Don't keep referring to this. Don't keep thinking this. Think positive. All right, Aries, that is what I have for you. This is your November reading. Guys, I thank you so much for the love and support, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.